This book is really interesting and cheeky. I'd love to read it with you. Look, we have such a beautiful cover page. Um, I wonder what is so exciting about this book. Uh, uh, the most exciting thing is this little guy. He's the main character of the story. He is Thikpa, the, the drop of water. The book is written by Chandra Omo and illustrated by Chandra S. Subba. Let's read it. In a river that separated two villages lived Thikpa, a drop of water. One sunny afternoon, he began to rise slowly, bobbing his head up, up and up. A small fish swam by, flip-flapping in the water. Can we be friends, Thikpa? she asked. He almost nodded his head, but he started rising, slowly bobbing his head up, up and up. I am not meant to be friends with a small fish like you, he snapped, rising above the surface of the river. A frog leaped out, jumping onto a rock. Can we be friends, Tigpa? He croaked. Look at the frog. Yeah, he looks sad. Thikpa almost said yes, but he started rising, slowly sliding into a small cottony cloud, up, up and up, higher and higher. I am not meant to be friends with a small frog like you, he snapped. A flower blooming at the foot of a mountain, tossing its head in the breeze. Sang, can we be friends, little, little cloud? Thikpa looked at himself and realized that he was no longer a drop of water. He had become a small cloud. He was almost about to know when he started rising up, up and up, higher and higher. I'm not meant to be friends with a small flower like you, he snapped, rising up and perching on the prayer flats. A crow, as black as a dark night, sitting on a tree near bright cloud. Can we be friends, little cloud? He was almost about to nod, but he started rising up, up, and up. Higher and higher, getting bigger and bigger. An eagle, huge and majestic, soaring in the sky, asks, Can we be friends, big cloud? He almost, well, almost nodded, but he started rising up, up and up, higher and higher getting bigger and bigger. I'm not meant to be friends with a bird like you. I'm meant for the higher world. He snapped, landing onto the breast of a huge mountain. Wow, look at this snow leopard. Yes, do you know Chiki that in Asia, Bhutan, is one of the country that has snow leopard in its natural habitat. Look at its color, so unique and beautiful, right? Yeah, it looks really nice. A snow leopard roaming in the snowy mountain crawled. Can we be friends, big cloud? 
He wanted to be his friend. He wanted to know and shake his hands with the snow leopard. But he started rising further up, up and up. Higher and higher, getting bigger and bigger. I am not meant to be friends with an animal like you. I am meant for the bigger world. He snapped, spreading onto the vast blue sky. Look, he's really happy. Yeah. I'm a mighty big cloud. I'm sure the sky wants to be my friend, he said to himself. Suddenly, thunder roared and lightning flashed, and he found himself trembling down, down, and down. Finally, he landed back in the same river as a tiny drop of water. The little fish saw him drop and instantly turned around and saw him away. So, Chicky, what did you learn from the story? Um, well, I learned that ego is your biggest enemy. And what about you? Um, I learned that no matter where we are in life, we should be kind, we should be nice to people, to treat everyone with kindness and respect. And love everyone.